हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ट्रूबल शूटिंग ऑफ दिस नेटवर्क एट द सेम टाइम वी विल कवर सम सिनेरियो बेस्ड नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एज वेल सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल नेटवर्क इंजीनियर और फॉर द पीपल हु इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर जॉब सो इन दिस topology first of all let me make you familiar with this topology so here you can see we have some computers which is connected through one single switch and this is ip address of pc1 this is ip address of pc2 on each pc you can see i am running ip address from 192.168.10.0 network and here on router interface on router lan interface actually i am running ip 192.168.10.100 so this ip address will become default gateway for these all user but there is some problem in this network right here you can see my router is connected through isp that means and user are connected through switch switch are connected, switch is connected through router and router is connected to isp here on this router i am running nat actually i am running pat port address translation and these all user are able to access internet but problem is these two machine are not able to communicate with each other only these two machine are not able to communicate with each other pc1 can communicate with pc3 and pc4 but pc1 cannot communicate with pc Two in the same way, PC two cannot communicate with PC one, but PC two can communicate with PC three and PC four, and both PC all PCs are able to access internet. So, if only these two PC are not able to communicate with each other, that means there is some problem on switch. Okay, so there is some misconfiguration or switch on switch, or maybe there is some configuration to. Uh, to stop communication between pc1 and pc2 so we will identify that why these two pc are not able to communicate then we will resolve the problem right my my main goal is to make communication possible between pc1 and pc2 so first of all let me show you the configuration so here you can see i have access of all devices this this is access of my pc1 here if you will check ip address so command will be so ip and now you can see here ip is 192.168.10.1/24 and this one is default gateway few people are saying that uh pc1 and pc2 are not communicating with each other because of bad submit mask configured by network engineer but bad submit mask cannot cause the cannot stop communication between pc1 and pc2 you know why see here also submit mask is 24 and on pc2 also you can check submit mask is same here also i am going to run so ip command uh, so ip here also you can see slash value is 24 so submit mask on all pcs is same okay and default gateway is also right on all pc so default gateway is right right that's why all pcs are able to access internet on the isp router i am running one loop back let me show you on the isp router if you will check so ip interface brief exclude and assign here you can see i am running one loop back and these pc are able to access able to ping 8.8.8 let me show you from pc1 suppose he, from here i am going to ping 8.8.8 which is running on isp router so see i am able to ping internet in the same way pc2 is also able to ping internet ping 8.8.8.8 fine so now you can see right both pc are able to ping pc3 let me show you pc3 is also able to ping 8.8.8.8 but pc1 is not able to ping pc number 2 let me show you from pc1 this is my pc1 ping first of all let me show you uh, this machine are able to communicate these all machines are able to communicate uh, with their default gateway right that's why these machine are able to access internet otherwise how this machine can access internet fine so this machine can ping their default gateway as well 192.168.10.100 okay this machine can ping pc3 pc4 but this machine cannot ping pc2 let me show you ping 192.168.10.3 so see pc1 is able to communicate with pc3 but 
let me show you let me ping pc number 2192.168.10.2 see pc1 and pc2 are not able to communicate with each other so definitely there is some problem on switch okay so we don't need to check configuration of router or isp router or any other devices just you need to check configuration of your switch because these all machines are able to access internet as well and these all machines are able to communicate with each other except pc1 and pc2 so that means there is definitely uh, uh, we need to check configuration of this switch okay so first of all on switch we will check vlan right that is these two pcs are in different vlan or not so first of all here i am going to run command so a vlan brief so here you can see there is one vlan default vlan and all member of all ports are member of that default vlan that is vlan one right so there is no problem the uh, communication is uh, not happening but not because of vlan right because as you can see all ports are a member of same vlan here you can see port number one also and port number two both ports belongs to same vlan pc1 and pc2 are connected through e0 slash 1 to e0 slash 2 so first thing that you will check is so vlan then we can run some command let me check uh, so running configuration over here and before checking so running configuration what you can check interface status so if interface status is fine that's why pcs are able to communicate with internet that's why pc are able to access internet right so here you can see all ports are fine duplex is auto speed is also auto and type is rj45 okay so these port are connected but definitely these port are not connected but uh, in the simulation software it's showing all ports are connected fine but i think so 0 slash 0 is connected and then 0 slash 1 to 0 slash 1 slash 1 till here all interfaces are connected with some devices okay because here you can see this one is 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 to 1 slash 0 fine now i am going to check configuration of which port ports which are able to communicate with each other let, let uh, like pc3 and pc4 are able to communicate with each other let me show you pc3 can ping to pc4 ping 192.168.10.4 here you can see pc3 can ping to pc2 also and pc1 also ping 10.1 c fine let me ping pc2 2 so see pc number 3 is able to communicate with all other pcs in the same network but pc1 and pc2 are not able to communicate with each other okay so now again let me take access of my switch and here next command i am going to check is so run and interface e 0 slash 3 port which is working fine there i am going to check configuration that what configuration is for gene so now you can see this current configuration of this interface is 29 byte interface this one and there is no any configuration on this port right now what you need to check you need to check port security here so so port security here you can see port security is also not configured right now i am going to check the running configuration on the interface which is not communicating right like 0 slash 1 which is connected to pc1 and 0 slash 2 which is connected to pc2 these two ports are not able to communicate with each other that means definitely there is some configuration on 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 port let me show you so run interface e 0 slash 1 here you can see configuration is 51 byte and interface ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port protected fine so here engineer have run this command switch port protected that means now i am going to check which port 0 slash 2 here also you can see switch port protected now let me check 0 slash 3 and here you can see i am not engineer have not run protected command in the same way on 
port number 4 also you can see protected command is not running 1 slash 0 sorry okay so 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is configured as protected port and as you know two protected port cannot communicate with each other so this is the reason why pc1 and pc2 are not able to communicate guys one of my paid student received this question in interview recently okay so that's why i am making this video and from from him only i get this question that why these two pc are not able to communicate with each other and these these all pc are able to access internet so how interviewer can ask you a question so suppose there are 10 computer connected through one switch right a switch is connected to one router router is connected to isp all pcs are able to access isp but out of all pcs two pcs are not able to communicate with each other so reason can be protected port maybe engineer have configured those two ports as protected port and as you know two protected port cannot communicate with each other so this is the reason why pc1 and pc2 is not able to communicate that's all if you will explain like this in interview definitely you will uh, uh, be selected for the job role okay now i need to fix it so how we can fix so run what command you can run so run and see okay let me filter it so run and section let me say protected okay so you can see i have an uh, engineer have run this command on two ports on 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 so let me go to interface range e 0 slash 1 2 2 and let me say switch port protected and let me say no no switch port protected over here okay and now if you will check protected uh, so run section protected here you can see there is no any command running on this switch now let me check pc1 and pc2 are able to communicate with each other or not pc1 go to yes yes now you can see pc1 and pc2 both are able to communicate with each other right so there is no no need to check the configuration of router right there is no any problem uh, with net configuration or pad configuration there is no any problem with default root configuration because many people are saying that default configure maybe default configuration is wrong maybe submit mask is wrong maybe net configuration is wrong guys if these things is wrong incorrect configuration of net incorrect configuration of default route so if these things is wrong that means pcs cannot communicate with internet if all pcs are able to communicate to the user who, who belongs to their who belongs to different network and if they are not able to communicate with their own user the, the user who is sitting in the same network that means definitely there is some configuration on your on your own network in your lan okay so make sure you will always check configuration of switch whenever you will face this type of question in interview or if you are an engineer if you are working in industry and whenever you need to troubleshoot you will start troubleshooting from switch one okay if you have any doubt let me know in comment section if you have learned something from this video guys don't forget to hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please hit on uh, please hit on subscribe button and if you want notification whenever i will upload next video because i am going to make these type of a lot of video right on troubleshoot troubleshooting on scenario based network engineer interview question so if you want notification whenever i will upload video click on bell icon okay and if you are interested for live training i am going to start a brand new course of ccnp in core plus nrc from from 20th of february so please enroll yourself for the upcoming training this is really a very special batch for me i am going to take this session on real devices so definitely this journey will be very exciting okay so that's all for today thanks for watching uh, bye bye. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe, guys.